Good morning, beautiful souls. This is Isis. Today, let's talk about finding my high vibe tribe. So first we need to consider the alignments. We discussed the alignments of your mate. Now, every mate you encounter throughout your lifetime, you have been with that person in a previous lifetime. So the souls are soul family, they're soul connections. And every person you encounter that you get close to, they are a part of your tribe, but are they your high vibe tribe? And that's what you're looking for. So you look for, let's say your twin flame, your connected soul, your soulmate, your tribe, your soul family, your soul tribe. All of them have similarities, but all of them are a little bit different. A twin flame has multiple outlooks, such as you, you both come from the same pod. Um, so a soul pod. The soul pod on the other side perhaps like you're Arcturian, and they're an Arcturian, and you're both kind of from the same podcast network. Or maybe you're both Pleiadians um, as a spirit. So that doesn't always mean that your mate is the same as you. You might be Arcturian and they might be Pleiadian. Um, so really it comes down to how do you connect energetically, not how do you connect from the spirit realms. So energetically speaking, the fire and the water can be together in unity, although they're polar opposite. So when you're seeking your soul tribe, your soul family or your soul mate, First, you need to get in connection with your higher self before anything else. So as we discussed, you want to do a daily meditation. You want to align your chakras and you want to open the blockages you have. Um, sorry, I have a bunch of insects near me at the moment. Um, the other thing you wish to do when seeking your soul family and your soul tribe which is more important than your soul mate, because that will come when it's right, when you are aligned. Look in yourself, what do you feel from yourself? Like, what should your career line be? What should your, what are you doing at the moment that you may not feel that's right for you? And you have an intuitive desire to do something different. It could be take a trip, change jobs, whatever it is, it's in your mind. It's been there for a while. Just do it. It seems impossible. Just do it because this is where you're going to meet your soul tribe. And I have met so many people on my journey. The more I follow my intuition rather than follow my mind. And the more I follow my intuition, the better my outcomes are. So if you're having any financial troubles as well, try to find Florence um, Scott's book, The Game of Life and How to Play It. Although it's highly religious because she wrote it in 1925, you can definitely, um, Sorry, I was just reading a text message. You will definitely um, be able to enhance that emotion. Enhance what she says. And when you speak her affirmations, you can feel them. They're amazing. So she says things like, I bless the money in my account and I increase it by the gift of the blessed spirit. 
So things like that, it's a little more detailed. I'm not quite um, an experted affirmationist, but I do some affirmations at time to time. So I wish you all a blessed day. Stay in tune with yourself. Get in touch with your inner being and your soul tribe will be connected with you.